Really, we see that there's a lot of potential for 5G in a number of areas uh, to be able to affect a number of areas in the future. So the data that we're looking at here, this is among US gamers. So gaming is one of those areas where latency is really important and where the audience there is very sensitive to it and is very knowledgeable about what latency is and why it's important. And so 69% of US consumers play one or more hours of video games each week. This is a survey uh, where we ask consumers about different areas. And so uh, as you can see here, about 45% of gamers play online games with others weekly. Uh, just around 20% say that they're likely to subscribe to cloud gaming in the future. And around 12% say they're likely to place bets on sports when it's available. All of those are areas that latency can impact and where 5G potentially is seen as, uh, as an interesting way to be able to deliver that. We also see from, uh, from looking at the data that um, there's still a, lot of, uh, still a lot of room to grow in areas that are important to 5G. So virtual reality is another area that many people talk about as uh, one that 5G, where 5G will be, be really important in the future. But as we can see, uh, a little under 10% of people own a VR headset today. And so you need to have that for VR to be able to work. And if you're talking about home internet, the ability to deliver internet to individual residences, only around 3% of people in the U.S. have that, and that's really made up of people who have either Verizon or T-Mobile 5G service providing them with home internet access. So we see that there's plenty of room for growth there in the future.